Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, we will talk about algorithmic state machine or ASM charts. This is one important topic in digital electronics. See, when we design sequential circuits in digital electronics, we generally use finite state machines, Mille FSM or Moore FSM. But when complexity of system increases, when number of inputs and number of outputs increases, then FSMs become very bulky. And in that case, we use algorithmic state machines. So when we heard word algorithm or flowchart, what comes in our mind? It's software. But here ASMs are used to design hardware. So algorithm name is given as algorithmic state machine because representation is like an algorithm step by step flow is given so it is asm is a flow chart designed for digital circuit so this is nothing but a flow chart but its representation is like algorithm step by step uh, behavior of hardware is modeled and that is why name is given as algorithmic then before we design our circuit we must know which components we should use in this flow chart so very first is state box because this is my state machine so important box is state box it is rectangular in shape it has one input and it gives us one output we write name of the state on the left hand side of incoming arrow and the binary equivalent of that state on the right hand side of that arrow inside that state box what we write is output c in case of Moore machine, output depends on states only. So here, inside this state box, we write outputs of Moore type of machines. In Miller machine, output depends on state as well as inputs. So in that, we use conditional box for Miller machine. Because for every input, output can be different. And that is why we use conditional box conditional output box so very first is state box next is decision box here in case of binary there are two possibilities either zero or one input is possible or true or false inputs are possible and for that we use decision box to take decision you all are aware of finite state machines and sequence detectors so, in state machines, FSMs, what we write, draw is state diagram. In that, what we say, if 1 will come, it will go to next state. If 0 will come, it may remain in same state or it may go back to previous state. Similarly, to take same decision, here we use decision box. So, here shape is diamond shape. It has one input and it will have two or more than two outputs are possible. And we write condition of input here inside this decision box. So very first is state box. Next is decision box. And next is conditional output box. This we use in Miller FSM to represent the outputs. Okay, let me explain you this ASM chart with some example. So here I have taken an example of 2-bit binary counter with enable line E. If enable line E is equals to 1, counting is enabled if e is equals to 0 counting is disabled disabled means it will go back to 0 counting disabled means it will not wait in same state it will go back to 0 this is binary counter this is 2 bit counter so in 2 bit counter number of states possible are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 So see, if E is equals to 1, counting enabled. So if E is equals to 1, then it will go from 0, 0 to 0, 1. Then from 0, 1 to 1, 0. 1, 0 to 1, 1 when E is equals to 1. And from 1, 1 to 0, 0 again if E is equals to 1. But what if E is equals to 0? If enable is 0, then it will go back to state 0, 0, when E is equals to 0. From this state also, if enable will become 0, it will go back to state 0, 0. From here also, it will go to state 
0, 0. From every state, it will directly go back to state 0, 0. Okay, so let's start with state 0, 0, first state. So I'll draw state box first. State name is S0. I'll write this as S0, this is S1, this is S2 and this is S3. And binary equivalent for this state is 0, 0. So we are in state S0. If enable is equals to 1, then we will go to state 0, 1. So here I'll use one decision box. And decision is based on enable. So, I'll write E inside this decision box. If enable is equals to 1, then it will go to next state. And next state is 0, 1. So, it will go to state S1 and it is 0, 1. When? If enable is equals to 1. But what if enable is equals to 0? Both conditions are possible. If enable is equals to 0, then counting disabled. So, it will go back to S0. If E is equals to 0. Now, I am in state S1. And if enable is equals to 1. Again, I will draw one decision box here. Decision is based on enable input. And if enable is equals to 1. If enable is equals to 1, it will go to S2. S2 and binary equivalent is 1, 0. But what if it is 0? What if enable is equals to 0? So, it will go to state 0, 0. It will go to state 0, 0. Here, I am in state 1, 0. And if enable is equals to don't forget to draw arrow. If Enable is equals to 1. In 1, 0, if enable is equals to 1, it will go to state 1, 1. State S3, binary equivalent is 1, 1. But what if it is 0? Then it will go to state 0, 0. I am in state 1, 1. If enable is equals to 1, it will go to 0, 0. If enable is equals to 0, then also it will go to 0, 0. So, here I don't need any decision box because for both cases, it will go back to state 0, 0. So, this is my ASM chart for this 2-bit binary up counter with enable input. Now, see. Here, if it is given as for minimum count output is 1 or for maximum count output is 1, then what you can do is, here you can write y is equals to 1 and at other state boxes, inside other state boxes, you can write y is equals to 0. If it is specified that for maximum count output is 1 or for minimum count output is 1, then here you can write y is equals to 1 and in other boxes, you can write y is equals to 0. If output is not specified, then you can keep these state boxes empty. I hope this concept is clear to you now. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends. Also, check out the uh, digital electronics playlist, videos related to finite state machines, videos related to Moore and Millet FSMs. Sequence detectors, sequence generators, multiplexers, demultiplexers are available on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and keep watching.